guys it's Gary and in today's video I'm going to be breaking down a tool in Illustrator called the shape builder tool and this is probably one of the most kind of important tools you should know on this whole entire software it's really helpful for logo design and stuff like that so going over this I'm really going to show you guys how people make logos and how everything gets those clean cuts and you can do them in Photoshop very easily. You can use a trim tool in here as well. But uh, a lot of logos are going to be done in Illustrator. And I want to be teaching you guys specifically how to use it. So right here, I have a logo I made for um, Oxify. This is basically just a O logo. And really quickly, you can see that it has these clean circle cuts and these clean line cuts. And I didn't just pen tool everything like this. I actually cut it out with the shape builder tool. So I'm going to be showing you guys basically how to use um, how to use it properly and what else it can do. So really quickly, I just want to open up Illustrator. You know, you guys can do this along with me. You guys can watch. And I'm just going to make, you know, a circle right in the middle of my screen. And I'm going to show you guys something very basic on how to do it. So you can just center the circle. And then you can just hit Control-C, Control-V to duplicate it. And then put it back in the middle. And then just hold Shift or something like that. Or hold Alt and Shift. And just make it smaller. And this is basically the bare bones on how to do it so you're gonna have this one circle and then you know one side of each other so all you want to do is highlight both of these so you can see the path stroke of both and then on the left hand side there's gonna be a little tool right here called the shape builder tool it's gonna to be two circles and an arrow and you can activate it by hitting shift M but I just like clicking it and when you highlight over something it's gonna be having these really cool um, grid lines above it so this is basically where you're gonna be able to click stuff so all you have to do is hold alt and then click the um, kind of checkerboard look and then it gets taken straight out of the logo. So if you click, you know, both of these, both are going to go away. So hovering over it, you can just click shift or ex excuse me, you can click alt and just click straight into that grid and it goes away and just click out of this. And then you're going to have a perfect logo just by itself. And then, you know, from here, you can, of course, do other things like I like making um, a new layer. And just let's say we're going to make something like this. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna take just basic stuff like this. Whoops, let me, t let me delete that and redo that one. And it's very like easy to do and it's really easy to make logos. And I don't understand why people don't really use this a lot, but I could basically make like a quick D logo or something like that. But uh, it gets really cool when you start making different objects. So let's just say for this video, we're gonna make a really cool trippy um let's just say animation not animation but a quickly design and i'm just going to take this and center it and then hold alt and drag this out and then hold alt and drag this back in and then maybe down so we have these three so you can see when you highlight all the paths that they all show up like this and it's going to be really cool when we start taking stuff out but i'm going to move this just up a little bit maybe like centered all right, so we highlight everything and you know, they don't have to be perfectly, you know, the same height or same length. It doesn't really matter. We're just showing you guys examples. But if you click the shape builder tool and hold alt, you can like really take out any part of this logo that you want. So, you know, you can really do some cool things with it. And let's just say we're gonna do something like this and you can see how it just cuts everything out and then you can hold um, shift and hit control C, control V and then basically put this inside of each other again. And then I'll highlight it one more time, hit the shape builder tool, hold alt, and this click in and out of everything. So you can really create some cool, um, you know, trippy kind of animation stuff with this. If you want to put this in Illustrator, you know, you can make it do some crazy looking things. But uh, the way I really make logos using the shape builder tool is just if I take, you know, the circle like we did originally and I did this a really fast in my actual logo and it's not very hard. All I have to do is hit control C, control V, put them inside of each other and you know, make one smaller. And then you can do it two different ways. You can basically just hit the shape builder tool, take out that inner circle, duplicate that one more time, and then just make it smaller and put that right in the middle. And then I took a lot of rectangles and basically I did it like this. I just put rectangles everywhere and then hit control C, control V, rotated it 90 degrees, put that in the middle, make sure it's centered at least. And then once I highlighted everything, I went to the shape builder tool and I just basically took out these extra kind of lengthy things. And then 
I can start taking away other things that I don't want to be there. So that can be the inner circle. And that could be some of these. Maybe we're gonna take out both of these. Or we're gonna take out one and leave the other. So we're gonna have something like this. Maybe like that. And it's really up to you on how you're gonna do this. But you know, once we have something like this, let's say we're gonna leave the top one out. We can have kind of like a cool steering wheel. And we can take, let's just say, a quick rectangle again in a different color. And let's just say we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it right here. We're gonna duplicate that and put this one right here. And then we can highlight everything, grab that shape builder tool once again and hold alt. And just really take out, you know, wherever we put it and it takes away from everything. So now you have this kind of cool little logo that you made and there's other ways to do it. There's other ways to kind of trim this kind of stuff. However, this is the really way that I like to do it. And you don't have to follow this, of course. If you guys want to make circles with, um, you know, nothing inside of it, you can basically just hit stroke and put it up to like 50 and then put that color to nothing. But uh, it's just not the same because when you start, you know, creating those paths and start taking stuff away, you're going to really need to understand, you know, how to do things. And people use this for text logos as well. And it's not very hard to make. Let's just say we're going to take the pen tool and we can make something like this. And we're going to grab the circle ellipse tool. Put this wherever we'd like. Duplicate it and then intersect it. And you can really like highlight this and hit that shape builder tool. And it's really like repetitive. Once you learn the process, it's very easy to do. So you can have something like this, maybe bring that over here, hold that, shape builder tool once again. And then sometimes you're gonna get these really close cut corners that are look a little bit awkward, but if you zoom in all the way, it really goes away very quickly. Just grab that shape builder tool again, and you can just click that out, and then you're set. You know, there's little slivers you're gonna get here and there, but don't mind too much about them. You can always take that pen tool and clean them out. So you can have something like this, and then you can just highlight it all. Control C, Control V, and then you can reflect it. Maybe let's just say vertically, and then you can even have just like a weird kind of logo thingy. But uh, this is really the kind of the bare bones of using Illustrator, and you really need to learn this kind of stuff before you start on um, making real logos and like drawing them and stuff. So this is gonna basically be the kind of like stepping stone for making your own logos. And I think that everyone should kind of look at this and realize that you need to learn it because you can't really make very good design logos if you don't know how to use this properly. So right here I'm just making a really quick logo thing, not too sure. But uh, basically that's how everything works and the shape builder tool is one of the most important and you can see how many paths I have but as soon as you take that shape builder tool out you can really start taking away from like everything. And maybe take these out as well. And then you have just kind of like a cool, trippy little logo design that you can make. But uh, that's basically how everything works. And of course, if you guys want to merge all these paths together, highlight it all, go to Window, Pathfinder, and then click right here where it says Merge. And then you guys have one solid path and you're set. So that's really how you use a shape builder tool. Um, I thought I'd go over this because it's a really quick tutorial and everyone would enjoy it. This is basically really how I made this and I'm going to be doing a lot of logo design stuff lately. So uh, definitely stay tuned to my channel and subscribe. I really thought that I should be breaking down the process of everything first before I start getting into how to make logos like this you know, right away. But basically that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up and a comment below. If you guys did like the Illustrator tutorial, of course let me know. And if any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments. Other than that, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.